Welcome to the kitchen. Today we're gonna to make a gluten-free bechamel sauce. Now bechamel is a sauce that is used for a lot of different dishes. It is the base for macaroni and cheese and for our chicken and wild rice casserole that we're gonna be making. So let's start off by making our gluten-free bechamel sauce and then you can use it for any different recipe and flavor it accordingly. I just have salt and black pepper in it because I'm gonna use the flavorings from the casserole to flavor our bechamel. And if you wanna do it with um, macaroni and cheese, usually paprika, cayenne pepper, and a little dry mustard is the seasoning. Or let's say if you're doing a um, cream spinach, this would be the sauce, and you would add a little bit of nutmeg and your spinach. So this is a wonderful thing. And now the way we're gonna make it gluten-free is that we're gonna use our Bob's Red Mill measure for measure one-to-one -one baking flour, which is a blend of rice flours and gluten-free flours. However, I don't find that it's thickening enough, so I'm gonna substitute cornstarch, which is a thickener that is gluten-free. So we will use that in the recipe as well to make our beautiful bechamel. Please subscribe so we can bring you more recipes. Thank you. Here we have all of our mise en place ready and we have our butter in the pan. I'm just gonna turn this on low right now so we can melt the butter. And then we're gonna add to it our one tablespoon of cornstarch and our two tablespoons of one-to-one -one gluten-free flour. And I'm gonna whisk it in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook that for two minutes and then we will add in our three cups of milk and we'll continue to cook and whisk it until it's all nice and thick and a beautiful sauce. All right, all of our butter is completely melted, so I'm gonna add in our cornstarch, we're gonna add in the flour, and we're gonna whisk that in and continue to cook it for two minutes. You wanna whisk it vigorously, make sure you get the lumps out and in the corner. So make sure you continuously whisk this for two minutes. So set your timer. Here we go, Here, we're gonna add in our milk now. This is, I've been whisking that. three cups in, and we're gonna continue to whisk it until it gets nice and thick in a beautiful velvety bechamel sauce. Bechamel is one of the mother sauces from French cooking. And once you master this, you can make a lot of different things. All right, I just wanna make sure you realize that you should bring it to a boil. So make sure that you continue to whisk, but your mixture should come to a boil and cook it for two minutes boiling, and that will help the cornstarch thicken it. Also, once I've gotten it to where it's getting really thick, I'm gonna switch over to my wooden spoon and then add in the pepper and salt. So I'm gonna keep stirring this for two minutes. All right, I've stirred it for two minutes and you can see how beautifully thick it's gotten. And make sure you scrape down on the edges of the pot. Don't let it burn in the corners. Make sure you scrape that down. And we're going to add in our seasonings now, the kosher salt and pepper. And if you were making the uh, macaroni, you could add in the other seasonings I mentioned earlier, or nutmeg if you're making spinach. And I'm using this bechamel for our gluten-free chicken and wild rice casserole. So make sure you check out that video. That's coming next. And this is, a little bit on the thin side because I'm putting it into a casserole. So if you want it a bit thicker, you add two and three quarter cups of milk instead of three cups of milk and it'll be a bit thicker. All right, so I'm gonna continue to stir just a little bit and then we're gonna let it cool and I'm gonna put it into my casserole dish and use it in that recipe. So thank you so much for watching our video. I hope it inspires you to cook at home and please check out all the rest of our videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks everybody. Bye. For more recipe demonstrations, please click like and subscribe to Chef Victoria Loves YouTube channel and have fun in the kitchen. Thank you.